Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to manage workspaces on the QST trading platform. QST is also known as Quick Screen Trading. Now, as with all our video series in YouTube playlist, we'll be starting with some of the most basic features of QST and working our way up to some of the advanced features, advanced features such as advanced order types, bracket orders, OCO, things like that, and more in-depth tutorials that do require some more attention and more time. But for now, we'll just be focusing on workspaces. Now, workspaces are a nice environment or a nice addition to the QST platform. This pretty much just serves as organizational purposes, a way to keep your platform organized and keep track of things in an orderly manner, per se. So as you can see, there are several locations in which workspaces come into effect on QST. Starting off, we'll head to the top left here. This is pretty much just workspace management. As you can see, you can create a new one, a new rename existing workspace or delete. We also have the possibility to externalize a workspace that pretty much just allows us to open it up on different platforms or excuse me, on different devices. If you are using QST as a platform on those devices, it'll pretty much extend over the server, allowing you to reopen your workspaces on a new environment. Anyway, other than that, we do have a couple of different locations. Again, you get those same features right below it. These are just little shortcut buttons. So you have create a new workspace, rename an active workspace. Again, you get that externalized option. And then we can delete whatever active workspace is currently active. Now you can see what is active based off this drop down menu here. Whatever is shown in this little field is your active workspace. So as you can see, we're currently hovering over quotes. If you'd like to confirm in another location in which you can swap your workspaces is down in the bottom left here. So as you can see, the dark blue highlighted tab is the currently active workspace. So as we click through and hop through workspaces, they become highlighted dark representing that they're active. So we're currently on account information that is highlighted dark and that is our workspace available now. So the great thing about workspaces is although they serve as a means of organization, you're not exactly bound to one particular workspace. So I know there is a charts workspace and yes, this is probably a good location to keep all your charts if you want to do so. But again, you're not limited. So we can just click on add a new frame, click on okay for a chart, type in our e mini contract of September 19. And we now have a chart within our quotes work pay, workspace. So as you can see, you're not limited to, if you want, you can move to a different workspace. You can close this out. So we can close out this frame. We can just click on our charts workspace now and we can add it there. So as you can see, we can build upon this and pretty much just build our workspace as we'd like. It's fairly simple to do. And again, it's a really easy way to stay organized. This works with about every single frame on this platform. So anytime you want to create a new frame or just start from scratch, you can do so. And I suggest starting with a new workspace as well. Another idea is for those traders that do trade multiple contracts. So maybe they trade the E mini S and P the Dow, the NASDAQ, whatever the case may be, you might want to create specific workspaces for specific symbols. So for example, we can create an entire workspace just dedicated to the E mini S and P. So to create a new workspace, like I showed you, you click this button here in the top left, this little toolbar, this will bring you to this workspace um, page right here. This pretty much just allows you to select a template or a format of your workspace. As you can see, you can have up to five frames on your screen at once. And again, the frame is that widget per se, or for example, just a chart that is considered a frame. You can also create your own and create your own custom training workspace. We'll stick with regular for now because it doesn't matter too much. And then you have two options you can apply as blank and this will just create a regular empty workspace or you can again select one of these templates click apply and then as you can see it automatically configures a workspace for you rather than just having a blank screen and you can just pretty much just click set content choose your frame and it will automatically build it for you so we can just type in es there open up our es contract because we're going to be under our es workspace 
And then we can just enter in or open up other various frames on this platform. So for example, we have snapshot quotes. Again, just type in ES and there we have it. Boom, our snapshot quote. We can open up another frame. We can do quotes monitor. We can click okay. We can collect the contract, set our contract. And now you see we're starting to get a bit more organized. Everything is related to the E-mini S&P 500. And everything pretty much just falls in line once you do have a workspace created for yourself. Now, as you can see, you can also right click the workspace tab if you like, rename a workspace as needed, and then we can just name this ES. Click OK, and now you know everything within this tab is related to the ES. So just a quick suggestion, again, this is at the end of the day, your platform, your organization. So you're going to be the one in charge. This is just my advice. And I think it, it serves well, it serves its purpose. You can save this template going forward. Again, if you need to, you can rename, externalize, delete. You can activate specific workspaces from here as well. Activate specific frames, or you can even click the workspaces and get a drop down menu view and then just activate and delete from there. It's really easy and pretty straightforward. Again, that's why we thought this was a good starting point. Workspaces are the heart of this platform and you pretty much build from the ground up. That pretty much wraps it up for this video. Again, we will be creating more content for this platform. And the further we get into the platform, the more advanced the features will become. If you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more of those QSD videos we will be making in the near future. If you do have any comments or questions or suggestions, please post them in the comment section below or head over to our community forum, which is linked down in the description and you can post any questions, comments, concerns you have there as well. Thanks for watching and once again, we hope you found this helpful.